The Hunter 350 was Royal Enfield's attempt to attract young customers into the brand, and looking at its sales figures, it suffice to say that their effort paid off big time. Thanks to the affordable price, compact dimensions and simple but great styling. Ever since its launch, Royal Enfield has been selling it in big numbers, oftentimes getting close to the numbers of their biggest seller, the classic 350. But like every other motorcycle, the Hunter do have some negatives. The biggest downside of the Hunter is its performance. The Hunter 350 is powered by the new J-Series engine which also serves its purpose in classic 350 and Meteor. While the 15 kilograms of weight reduction over the classic 350 does improve its performance, it's not enough. Sustaining anything over 100 kilometers per hour is still a struggle. While a lot of people were expecting the Royal Enfield to launch a high-performance version of the Hunter 350, powered by the J-Series engine with higher state of tune, recent spy shots reveal something else. But before moving on, if you find this video informative, please don't forget to drop a like as it helps the video to reach more like-minded people. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Recently, there's been a few sightings of the new upcoming Roadster from Royal Enfield carrying a striking resemblance to the current Hunter 350, and it is widely believed that this is the test mule of the upcoming Hunter 450. Upon close inspection, we can see that this new bike has some fundamental design changes when compared to the current Hunter. The first thing that we can notice is the engine. The presence of the radiator suggests that this is the new Sherpa 450 engine from the new Himalayan, which means a massive increase in performance. The existing Hunter only produces a measly 20 bhp at 6100 rpm from its air-cooled 349 cc power plant. The new Sherpa 450, on the other hand, makes 40 bhp at 8000 rpm and 40 newton meters of torque at 5,500 RPM. These figures suggest that the performance of the new Hunter 450 will be on a whole nother level. The other thing we can notice is the absence of any sort of frame rails under the engine, which means that this new bike will also receive the highly revered steel twin spar tubular frame from the Himalayan, which uses the engine as the stressed member. Combined with the reduced weight of the Hunter 450, the new Roadster is expected to be a great handler. In the suspension department, this test bike has a single shock at the rear instead of the twin shocks of the Hunter 350. On the front, however, it features a right-way-up telescopic fork instead of the Showa's upside-down forks. This was done probably to keep the cost in check, but if it handles well, most people will be fine with it. The new Hunter 450 also features the same circular dash as seen on the Himalayan 450, which may also imply that the new Hunter will also have the ride-by-wire system from Himalayan. Also like in the Himalayan, it is unlikely to have any sort of electronic aid like cruise control or traction control due to the cost concerns. But of course, I could be wrong as well, who knows. The braking hardware is from the Brembo subsidiary Bybri and will feature dual-channel ABS as standard. In terms of design, the test bike retains the silhouette of the current Hunter 350. It has a set of 17-inch alloy wheels at both ends, wrapped with some meaty tubeless rubber. It also has all LED lighting instead of the halogens like in the current bike. The rear brake lights are integrated into the indicators like in the Himalayan, which I am not a big fan of. The test bike also features a bash plate underneath the engine, which will probably be an optional extra in the actual production model. Now, some of you may put forth the argument that this is not Hunter 450, but the upcoming Scram 450. Here's my counter argument to that. First, the scramblers usually have a front wheel size from 19 inch and up, but the front wheel on the test bike is substantially smaller, more like 17 inches. Second, if you look at the previous Scram 411, which was based on the Himalayan 411, wasn't all that different from OG Himalayan, with the exception of 19 inch front wheel. On the other hand, this test bike has a completely different front suspension, 
which may result in significant changes in measurements such as different wheelbase rake and trail angles. As of now, there's no info available regarding the launch date of the Hunter 450, but it is expected that it will be on sale by the end of 2024 or by early 2025. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.